welcome everyone so today in this video we will learn how view model class works internally so first i will be explaining the basics how view model class is used to persist data between configuration changes and then we will also learn about the internal working so prerequisite for this video is you should be familiar with view model and you have already used it in some of your projects so the major reason why we use view model is because it persists data between configuration changes that means if our activity is created and it is running so on create is called on start on resume so now our activity is in running state but when we rotate our device or suppose when we are changing our locale that means language of our application so then this is a configuration change so our activity will be recreated now so on pause on stop and on destroy will be called that means our whole data will be cleared if we are storing our data in the activity then all data will be lost but uh, we are using here view model and uh, because of view model our data will not get lost so after this on destroy our activity will be recreated that means on create on start and on resume and then our activity will be again getting the data from view model and within this whole configuration change our view model will not get destroyed so this is why we use this view model class to provide data to our ui but how it works internally and what are all these things so let us understand so this is a simple view model class and how we can create an instance of our view model class so whatever dependency injection you might be using so internally it will be using this thing it will use a view model provider instance and here we are creating an object of this so view model provider and if you can see here it takes two parameters first is a view model store owner and then a view model provider factory so this view model store owner is a mandatory parameter so this we will provide this as a as our view model store owner so either activity or your fragment can be a view model store owner how if you see this component activity then here you can see it is implementing this view model store owner interface and it is just used to simply store this view model store i will explain that thing so now we have this view model provider and then we can use this to get our view model class my view model colon colon class dot java so with this we can get the instance of our view model if you can see this vm is instance of my view model and if in your case you have some parameters here then you can create a custom factory and you can also pass that in your view model provider so that you can create your custom view model if you are passing a factory here then uh, that factory will be used to create view model else a default factory will be used let me show you that so this function and here you can see it is using this default factory view model providers dot get default factory so the magic happens inside of this get function let us understand this so if you can see this get it is calling this function let me check here it is calling implementation dot get view model and on a higher level if you see this implementation it is getting the instance of view model from this store and this store is a view model store and if you hover over this view model instance it is a nullable view model instance so that means if our required view model is present inside of this store then that will be returned else null so this is what exactly we are checking here so if we are getting the instance of our view model then we are returning that view model or if that thing is not present then we will create it factory dot create that view model and uh, and after creating we are also putting that view model inside of our store view model store so here the kotlin syntax might be confusing to you but the simple implementation is if our store contains our view model our required view model then we will return that view model else else we will use the factory to create the instance of that view model and uh, after we get the instance of a new instance of that view model then we will first store that in the in the view model store and then we will return that new instance so i hope you understood this thing so that simply means this view model store is used to store the instance of our view model that will be returned after configuration change of our activity or our view model provider owner that can be an activity or can be a fragment also so this store is internally storing that instance of view model let us see okay here you can see internally it is using a hash map and it stores the instance with a string and a view model as a value and we are using this put method to put the instance new instance of a view model here after creating it with a factory there you can see factory dot create and then we are putting it inside of our view model store 
so on our activity recreation our same instance of view model will be returned from the same instance of our view model store so now the question is how we are getting the same instance of this view model store because if we are getting the same instance of view model store then it will return as the old instance of this old view model so the question is how should we get the same instance for view model store and the answer is here in this component activity so it is implementing this view model store owner which returns us the older view model store so let us see where is this view model store instance okay if you see here there is this internal class non configuration instances and uh, here it is custom and a view model store that means inside the implementation of our activity there is a class that will store this thing non configuration instances that means when the configuration of an activity is changes activity will be destroyed but there is a internal class that will store the instance of non configuration instances so these things will not get destroyed after configuration changes and if you see where is this view model store used here is a function ensure view model store if you see the implementation of it it checks if the view model store is equal to null then it will get the last non configuration instance and then it will get back the view model store instance if this non configuration instance is not equal to null then it will get back the view model store instance and if that is null then it will simply create a new view model store so this thing is pretty simple it is just checking if the previous instance of this class is available then we will get the previous instance of our view model store and i hope that explains everything so at the end our activity or fragment is considered as our view model store owner and they implement this interface and provide the view model store so they are view model store owner and uh, they will be passed as a parameter to view model provider and uh, view model provider will be responsible for giving us the same instance of our view model using the same instance of our view model store so i hope now you are clear with this thing how this map thing fits here because it is in view model store let me give you a final conclusion so this is a activity that is our view model store owner and this will be passed to our view model provider and as this activity is our view model store owner so it will also have the instance of our view model store as as, as i just showed you here inside of this component activity so activity contains this view model store and this view model store contains a map of our all the view models so these things are being passed to our view model provider and our view model provider is just a utility class that will simply use these functions this map to return us the same instance of our view model you can go to the get function and you can simply see this thing if our view model store from our activity contains this view model then that will be returned else a new view model will be created and will be put inside of our activities view model store so i hope this makes everything clear and if you like this video then make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and you can access the android interview playlist from the description